Welcome back everyone, Polius here for more Let's Play Warsaw. Last time we slew the great dragon that the evil had sent to steal Warsaw, and uh, discovered that we needed to head to Senefaria. I believe Alan's was mentioned. Um, so here we go, chapter 17, The Fierce Attack, Senefaria. It had been the center of the dark battle which almost destroyed the world. Now it had become the home of evil in the Forbidden Land. Win is the total defeat of the enemy, and lose is it's the death of anyone. I don't, I'm not going to go through if I lose anyone. So the enemy's got a bunch of uh, Gorgasars and Styriacasars and Wyverns with Gargoyles. It's been a while. Uh, there is a lot of them, a, a full, whole mess of them. And they are all ranged, which means that it is time for one, once again to have the archers come to the fore. One thing to note, though. All right, first of all, um, Lance, no. One thing to note, we don't have any soldiers of Calais. As you'll recall, she became uh, Ninja Gaiden here and is now incredibly powerful. That said, we're going to give her the Evil Axe because that brings her up to like 50-something attack power and that's just bonkers. Uh, okay. Warsong should go to one of our highest damage dealers. So let's think about that. It's probably not Mina or Garrett. We've got either Tiburon or Sabra. Um, give it to Sabra. Um, and then the Great Sword to Tiburon. Uh, the Shield to Garrett. Wand to, uh, Mina. And the Cross to Thorn. Amulet to, uh, uh which one do I pick? Which one? Bad. All right, we need lots of archers. Mina's not going to go with soldiers because I don't. I mean, the monks are powerful, but I just they're not worth it. Um, Garrett, it's definitely worth giving him archers because his uh, revision bonuses are so high. If you uh, take a look, I mean, uh, Tiburons are better in terms of offensively, so he's definitely going to go with archers as well. Actually, his are his are comparable to the Magic Knights. What am I saying? Anyway, oh wow! Shoot! I kind of want to try the monks out with this. With I just noticed, how have I not noticed that Mina's revision is plus nine? It's a twenty-nine attack. Um. Heck, what could possibly go wrong? We'll give her some monks. Um, Tiburon's definitely getting archers. Um, See, so the griffins would be useful for clearing out some of the Stracosars, but... I'm going to experiment. I'll go with uh, six. Um, and yeah, we're gonna give... Garrett's got plenty of... I am past the point where I really need to care about experience gain. Um... And we'll just give them... I don't wanna mess around with this too much. Um... I, I have this problem when I play these games where I see a resource, I'm like, I can't spend that resource. It's important. So the archers aren't gonna do much against the Staracosaurs. We can always, you know, we can see if maybe the uh, the griffins or the monks will. I mean, that's, that's 31 attack and that's gonna be 29 attack. So at the very least, it's, they're going to, you know, if there's magic involved, they're gonna do some work. Let's start. Alright, we'll put Sabra and Mina in the very center. Kalei can go here, and we'll fan out with the archers all around here. Let's 
on our soldiers. And I do mean fan out. I'm going to spread the archers into that line of woods. It must be around here somewhere. Your Highness, we can see the castle of Senefaria. We are close. Something is flying over the castle. What is it? They're heading towards us. Oh, that's... It's a flock of wyverns. Must defeat them one by one. Don't let them gather into one place. Scatter them. Actually, you know what? I think we're going to let them gather into one place. So I've got a ton of soldiers here and a ton of woodland to protect them in. These guys have a movement of seven, so they can make it pretty far pretty quickly. Um, and ideally, you don't want to give them any sort of land advantage. Oh, I put Tibber on the wrong side, didn't I? That's going to be fine. I could actually advance. Anyway. Um, what I want to do is I want to create a line of archers and then just have them rotate out. So... And Bayard is probably actually best for this. I, I really didn't think very hard about where I was putting my soldiers. Um... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move a mess of soldiers up. And we're going to... Oh, yep, oh, that's, that's barely perfect. We're going to, um, like, switch the whole, the whole unit, the whole army, with their commander and everything out. So we'll control the wood line here. They should make a beeline, you know, if they, assuming the AI does does the smart. It's a ton of attack. I mean, so are these guys. So we'll move Baird here. And just post some archers up here. Just to be safe. And I really should command manual. Command manual. So after this initial initial positioning, it's really not going to be worth watching all of the movement. Alright. We've got more wood line here. And I think it'll behoove me to move back. And yeah, that gives them a little bit of cover. But it should be fine. The trick is the trick is, like I said, to be able to swap soldiers out as needed. Um, what is... Just a body. And I think, you know, with spells and whatnot, it's going to be... We're going to be in a pretty good position to... Oh, that guy's out of position. Speaking of... I'll just move uh, Tiburon over one. And I think we're going to be in a pretty good defensive position here. Command. Manual. And we'll move Kalei up because she can absolutely wreck these guys on her own. Uh, manual, manual. Uh, Garrett, I want you in a more central location. Because I want to be able to use your men to, to rotate out. You know what? I'll just let, let it do its thing. Actually, what I should do is I should have Garrett in the center with uh, Bayard being the reinforcements, since he has some, the, the greater range. But I think we'll be fine here. It's going to be a turn or two before these things get to us, but that'll be fine. And the other thing I can do is I can move uh, Kalei and Mina up and use their, their units as uh, uh, finishers. 
so that they can get the kill move. Not Kalei, uh, uh, Sabra. Kalei doesn't get units anymore. She's too cool for that. Uh, I think, though, I don't want to risk... The Griffins are so fragile. I, can't, I really don't want to risk them. But they're such cool units! Like, that's the worst part, is they're one of the coolest units in the game. Um, but they're so e they're so expensive and so easy to lose, it almost doesn't... It usually doesn't feel like it's worth the investment. But I think it'll be worth to have them attack to finish off weakened uh, Stracosars. And it's not like there's a big boss monster, so I can afford to use spells liberally to weaken the things. And recall from Calais, I do have an Earthquake spell, which I have never personally used. This is, again, past the point where I've played the game. But I seem to recall reading that it actually changes the environment, like it can bust down walls. I don't know if it could actually impact, say, a mountain. I actually don't know if factual earthquakes can do that to mountains. Be cool. No, it would actually also be an ecological disaster. So maybe le maybe less than cool. All right. What a fascinating turn. Yeah, let's uh, let's do that. We're gonna move Sabra over here. And we're going to move her troop of griffins to join. And they will um, prove the power of Alliance Air Superiority. That was one of the coolest things in, War in World of Warcraft, speaking of griffins, where you got to actually fly one of those things. It just always disappointed me that you couldn't, you know, use them in combat. And I understand the limitations of it, but... I just want one Griffin flight simulator. What's so wrong about that? Um, see, my instinct is to actually pull back and create a box, but I really don't think it'll be that necessary. These guys are going to get caught out here. Um, these guys could be a problem. But... You know, we do need to move Tiburon here to cover his own units. In fact, let's do that. So Kalei will help protect, but how far can the monks move? Oh, they can move plenty far. So we have, like, a fish hook formation here, which totally will work, I promise, completely. Um, let's just move these guys here, just to be sure. That I'm not gonna get swarmed. Again, usually, usually, the enemy likes to attack um, units that are Wait, non-commander units first. Uh, before I do that, let me make sure Garrett is... Yeah, okay. End of phase. I think the enemy's going to advance. But here they come. Kind of left it in big map by accident. Yeah, they're, they're just not going to do crap to the archers. I think... My men are in a very good position. Even if they get uh, flanked a little bit. Uh, that was a lot of misses, though. So, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose out uh, sometimes when the archers decide to just totally drop the ball there. But I can't imagine that it'll be all that bad. Those guys are going to take a while. I could move Garrett all the way over. But, again... Um, 
growing up with a military father, you know, he would be very ashamed if I committed all of my reserves. And that's my that's my reason I'm sticking to it. Um I I have heard some good things since we are actually approaching the end of this project about Warsong 2. And I think what I'll probably do is I'll probably play through it a little bit first. I've heard there are more branching class options, which is both a delight and drives me nuts. I mean, you saw how hard I worked to make sure that I had at least one of all the, the really cool classes. I'll be damned if I was going to use Serpent Knight. The thing was terrible. Or Crocodile Knight, or whatever it was. It looks cool, but it's so bad. There's one level where it's good. So, but I've heard there's a lot of really cool options in, in 2. Um, so I want to look into that, definitely. I don't know how soon I'd be able to play that. You know, my time is very much at a premium now. Uh, but, you know, this this project will be going on for a little while longer, at least. Especially with how long it takes to move these enemies, am I right? Game did this on purpose. I remember, like, the... The old Pokemon Stadium had a uh, Game Boy mode where you're... Uh, you, you're, like, everything could actually move much faster, and it was great for fighting the Elite Four. So these guys... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, no no one can really reach... Uh, my, uh, my Griffins, which is fine. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Oh yeah, this is gonna go great. Um... We're gonna move him back here, and we can move a Bayardian soldier over, right? That range is gonna work, yeah. We steal all the credit. Uh, Bayard needs it too. He needs to level up some. There's, yeah, really the big threat is from over here, so. So I actually do want to move at least one archer unit right here. Uh, you know what, we'll move up. And this archer will... Oh no, because I, I would rather the archer have to fight someone in forest than on mountain. Oh, look at that glorious line of archers. Who's is this? Garrett's? Okay. Um, I, th I think we're good. And face. It's just gonna be a, it's gonna be a bit more action packed now that we've got. Oh, what are you doing? You're you're trying to get through my line of archers. Oh wow, these guys are getting wrecked. No, it's gonna take more than one turn to recover. Oh no, you you are in trouble. These guys are doing terribly. What happened to the Vim and the Verve? Uh, they just weren't really feeling it. That's right. To quote Longshanks, we have we have reserves. Let's say spares, which you know it's about the same thing, right? And these are the Bayardian. Oh. And they're going to get hit even harder because they're going to be attacked from the other... No? Okay. That'll be fine. Um, I think it'll actually be time... I think the Griffins are actually out of position. Uh, yeah, they, they actually are. Oh, no. I was, I was about... I was thinking for a moment. Dangerous, I know. I could use a Magic Knight's attack to really weaken the uh, the gargoyles on the right there, but I can't because that's not a Magic Knight, that's a Knight Master, and he has Thunderbolt, which is cool and useful, but not quite what we were looking for. So, we'll have to hold off on that. Instead, I might actually use one... Um, Sorry, I'm a little scatterbrained today. I might actually use one right where the uh, the 
the archers are currently being wrecked on the left. Because they are not doing as well as I was expect as they did on that first round. The dice have not favored them. And archers are really interesting. I remember you know, way back when when we were using their 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 lack of guaranteed insta kills to make sure Garrett leveled up. And it was I mean it's it's interesting how limitations like that can really drive gameplay. For for good and for bad. In this case, it, it was very much a matter of, in this case, it was very much a matter of the bad, of, hey, I kind of need these guys dead. Oh, no? Okay. Can they reach? They can. Alright. So here's what we're going to do. Magic. Thunder! Oh, wait. Oh. Reinforcements already. Um... I think it might actually be wise to use thunder then. Magic, thunder. Yeah, let's catch him. Boom! All right, yeah. That is what I wanted to do. But Baird, you're gonna need to move this guy back. Um, but you've got plenty of other archers that we can move up, as long as they're not on the the mountain. Should be fine. We're going to move up here. She's only level 1 still. But it'll it'll be fine. I'll, I'll commit her when I know that I can actually win. Alright. I can move this guy back to cover this line right here. Um... This archer can move up and shoot this gargoyle. I was about to say, if you let yourself get hurt there, it would be pretty shameful. Given that you uh, vastly outnumbered them. Oh, come on, archers. Really? Boo. Alright, well. Where are your other men? move this guy up and we do need to perform a or form a protective ring around this injured archer um, fifteen defense against what do these guys have like 27 30 attack yeah we're gonna we're gonna hold off on using the Griffins until a bit later. Um, we are going to move, no, yes, we're going to move Garrett up, move his archers to at least interpose. Again, the, the advantage of having a high damage but low defense cavalry is that you want to save, save to commit them until the last moment. And I don't regret making Sabra a Dragon Knight. And yeah, the, gri the Griffins kind of suck, as cool as they are. But the advantage of the Griffin, or of the Dragon Knight, oh, you can't move that far, is that they, um, they, she lets me soak spell damage. Uh, the previous mission alone would have been nigh impossible. Alright, so they've gone completely around, which means I actually want to drop down one with this guy here and just form a wall. There we go. And these guys should wreck the, the gargoyles. And again, I've got reserve of monks. How far can they move? They can move pretty far. I just... I don't know if monks count as archers. We'll find out. Oh no! Fireball! That'll be cool. Oh, those guys actually attacked. 
Yeah, and I am going to have to cycle units out. Not a fireball. That's the last thing I wanted to have happen. Fortunately, those archers under Tiburon's command are going to do real work. And, okay. Oh, she's going to get wrecked, though. It's okay, she can treat. What? Why aren't they all attacking? How much more magic do these things have? I... Uh, we'll be fine. It's the watchword. Okay, see so that one that went much better. But yeah, the watchword of this episode will be fine. Even as my men get whittled down by magic. But there's not much I can really do against the uh the gargoyles, because they can just fly in and soak all them and instead of, you know, casting a bunch of spells, which I can soak up, they can just attack my units directly. Okay, just give up. Give up. Nobody loves you. Um, I think it's time for another lightning bolt. Yeah. Uh, I think it's time for a lightning bolt followed by a griffin blitz. Maybe. And the griffins will do damage. Interesting that none of the, the gargoyles really came down the center. But... Oh God, there's another line. Yep, it's time to start finishing things off. Uh, we will... But I think we'll do that in the next part. After this, we're going to wrap up, and I'll see everyone next time. Just... Enjoy the the classic Sega chip uh, chipset or whatever the uh, music chip. That's it. I am good at terminology, and I am liking how strung out these things are getting. It'll be easier to uh, mostly easier to deal with them. And I can, you know, in hindsight, I could have sent Sabra back uh, forward to really deal with those guys and absorb their fireballs. But we'll deal with that next time. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. This has been Polius playing Warsong. I'll see you all later.